What's up guys, it's Tyler from Hook Sets Are Free. Hope you're having an awesome day today. Today we're gonna to take just a couple minutes to talk about 10 of the very best chatterbait trailers that you should be throwing in 2019 and beyond to catch more bass. Stay tuned. Now, choosing the right trailer for your chatterbait, your vibrating jig, your bladed swim jig, whatever it is that you wanna call it, is probably more important than you would think. The chatterbait is an extremely versatile fish catching lure. It can be fished in a bunch of different ways. You can fish it slow and hop it off the bottom like a jig, or you can fish it more steadily like a swim jig, or you can bring it in erratically and bump it off of cover like a square bill or a lipless crankbait. There are so many different ways to fish a chatterbait, and it's no wonder that they've become so popular among pros and amateurs alike. But I think one of the things that makes a chatterbait so unique is that you can change that bait's profile and bulkiness, its look color wise, and its action all together simply by changing out that trailer. So I'll say it again, choosing the right trailer for your chatterbait can make all the difference in a day's fishing depending on when and where you fish that bait. Now let's break that down for a minute. There are two things that you wanna consider before choosing your chatterbait trailer. First, what is the water temperature? What is the time of year? What are bass eating right now? What are they doing? Where are they? And number two, what is the primary forage in that body of water that you are going to fish? Because as best as possible, what we wanna do is mash the hatch. And so depending on how those two factors apply to your body of water, the time that you're watching this video and going fishing, we're gonna choose from three different categories of bladed jig trailers. First is a shad type with a straight or a fork tail. Second is a minnow type, usually with a paddle tail. And third is a craw type with more swimming or flapping legs. This 10 of the top list is in no particular order other than grouping by style. And I'd also like to say that I'm not currently sponsored by any of the manufacturers that you're about to see. These are simply the baits that I've had the most success with and that I know that a lot of good pros and top YouTubers are using as well. Let's get right into the list. Okay, first group is the shad style trailers. As you can see, these all have a fork or straight tail on them, and as a result, are gonna have a very dead or tight action on their own. On the chatterbait, they're meant to let the blade or head of the lure impart the action on that tail. This is the most natural presentation of the ones we're gonna talk about. Number one is the Strike King KBD Perfect Plastics Blade Minnow. The blade minnow measures four and a half inches long, has a forked tail and a segmented body, and was designed specifically for the Strike King Rage Blade, which is Strike King's bladed jig. It comes in some great clear water colors and pairs up perfectly on their naked Rage Blade, which is this guy right here, has a clear blade. This trailer seems to be sized just right to work well on all bladed jigs. It's not too bulky and it's not too skinny either. Number two is the Yamamoto Zeiko. The Zeiko measures four inches long, also has a forked tail and a segmented body, but as you can see, its tail has a little bit of a flange. Its tail is just a little bit thicker, and overall this bait has a much more bulky profile. A bulky profile like that is gonna help it with skipping but it's also heavy, which is gonna help keep the bait down in the water column. The Zeko was also designed specifically for vibrating jigs and has a great tight fishy action. Number three, the Z-Man Razor Shads. The Razor Shads measure four and a half inches long, have a forked tail and a segmented body, but are made from a Laztec and are designed specifically for the Z-Man Chatterbaits. Definitely has some bulk to it, which makes it good for skipping, and also just generally adds some good bulk to your bait. And here it is matched up on the jackhammer, looking almost flawless. Number four, the Strike King KBD Perfect Classics Caffeine Shad. The Caffeine Shad measures five inches long, has a straight tail, and is a soft jerk bait or fluke style bait. Relatively heavy, but is super soft and has a great action on it. What I'll do is bite off about the first quarter to half inch of the bait and then thread that on 
to a chatterbait with a longer skirt, like the Freedom here. And there you go. A couple quick runner-up options for you that you might have in your tackle box are the regular size Zoom Super Fluke and like a four and a half inch finesse worm, like the Biospawn Plasma Tail I've got here. Trailers. Next to the minnow style paddle tail trailers, these have more of an erratic or wide action because of that thumping paddle tail in conjunction with the vibrating blade of the chatterbait. Here's the thing though, the vibration and the water displacement from the blade interferes with and dulls the action of the paddle tail. Because the paddle tail has to swim in already turbulent water, the tail tends to rise up that much more and just kind of wag back and forth lazily. So keep that in mind, not all paddle tail swim baits work well as trailers on chatter baits. That said, here are a few options. Number five, is a Strike King Rage Swimmer or a Kitek Swing Impact Fat or another alternative, whatever it is that you use, rigged one of two ways, either upside down with the paddle tail upside down or better yet with the tail cut off or cut into a fork. What I've done here is ripped it off and left just a little bit of weight on the back there. I use that 4.8 inch size and tend to just use leftovers from swim baits since the heads tend to go first. Number six, the Z-Man Diesel Minnows. The Diesel Minnows measures four inches long and is an Elaztec paddle tail swim bait. And as you can see, Profile wise, it matches up with the jackhammer really, really well. Number seven, the Yamamoto Swim Senko. This bait now comes in a bunch of different sizes and I really prefer the four inch model. That way it doesn't have to be trimmed down. You don't have to worry about the, getting the right length on it. The action of this bait is a bit wider than the others that we've talked about. Similar to an upside down Rage Swimmer, what I would do matched up on this B Height Delight jackhammer is dip the tail of that swim Senko in some chartreuse spike it. Number eight, Kitek Easy Shiner. Again, this bait comes in a bunch of different models ranging from two inches all the way up to eight, but I really prefer the four inch model of this bait as well. The Easy Shiner has a naturally tighter action than Kitek's other swim baits like the Swing Impact and the Swing Impact Fat, which makes it typically better for colder water or finicky fish and the action works actually really well on a chatterbait. Now one thing you are going to want to pay attention to with both the Easy Shiner and the Swim Sanko, you are going to ruin the bait when you pull it off of the keeper. However, the double wire keeper on the jackhammer is remarkable and will keep your trailers on there or else. And there you have it for the paddle tails. And last are the cross style trailers. There are two different types of cross, one with more of a subtle action and one with more of a, a wild flapping action. Number nine is the Strike King Rage Menace Grub. This bait has a narrower profile, a tighter kicking action, is subtle but still has flange claws for more thump and a good swimming action. It can be rigged two different ways can be rigged horizontally or vertically for completely different actions. Most of the time I like to rig it so that the claws are vertical and it's got more of a fishy profile than a craw. However, if I am going to be fishing it like a craw, then I will rig it 90 degrees the other way and have those claws horizontal, give it more of a flapping than a swimming motion. Does that make sense? And number 10, the Z-Man Turbo Craws. This is a slightly more bulky craw and has flapping legs for more action in the water. It's good for swimming, particularly on a swim jig and in warmer water. And there's what she looks like rigged on the back of a Freedom Chatterbait. And it'd be beautiful. And there you have it with the couple craw options. And a couple quick runner-up options for you here with the craws that you might have in your tackle box. For a slightly more subtle action, you could go with the Zoom Ultra Vibe Speed Craw that you see on bottom here. Or for more action, you could go with the Strike King Rage Craw, which you see on top there. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, 
hit the thumbs up button below. And if you're new to the channel, please hit that red subscribe button and turn on the notifications to see more content like this in the future. And let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Do you agree with the list or do you guys throw some different Chatterbait trailers that I didn't mention today? I'd love to hear from you. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.